the Franco-Prussian War. Glandor Avenue, Belfast, 8th of October, 2019. This is the year Pizarro spends in exile in London, of all places. No tree skips of Pontoise, no paddling girls or washing strung on a line, no empty lonies or the blessings of hoarfrost. But yet another empire with its own perspectives. A church tower in Sydenham staring down a century and a half to a front room in what is or soon will be by a trick of the light. This timely avenue in another city entirely where a chap has put up his well-shod feet for the last time. When all else fails, what endures is panache. This bend in a London road is the camber of the earth, the green baize pitted with a white that's chalk or tusk. A hairpin turn still recognised, though each tree from then is pulled up and concrete frog marched up the gutters. The artist has set the Crystal Palace aside, its glass so refracting our gaze that the boy with his father, promenaders, the little girl with her intimate platoon, are images of those who haven't been born yet, who haven't been killed by shots still to be fired. In the Ormo Park, our city fathers just opened. This is how the dead work, exceeding the brush strokes of what they could know. Each gradient destined to arrive at a future, impasto bursting with a surplus of light. From France, the intermittent bass notes of artillery applaud. And on Fox Hill, this gentleman, purposeful and spruce, stepping into the snow and knowing what's good for him, will back Master McGrath in the Waterloo Cup, head home to catch Newsnight on the Siege of Paris, shake out the first edition of the Belfast Telegraph. And checking for invisible distress in himself, watch the rest of us collapse under Solomons of soap suds and Melchizedek's of ink, sinking Bismarck's on the single explosive celluloid of a cue ball.